No, Nick is too. It's we inherited that. <laughs> it's blood. It's in our blood. We were born with alcohol in the semen. What's up, fellas? Today I'm doing something a little different. I'm lifting my Ford Explorer. <laughs> so this is my Explorer here. My grandfather gave this to me. Oof. Couple, four years ago maybe something like that i've been driving it and then it started giving me issues so i parked it and got a new car so now that i drive the civic i have no, no use for this thing so it just sits in my yard well today i'm gonna lift it well i shouldn't say going to attempt to because it's uh it's quite rusty so in here they have uh, these sweet shocks that go on the back uh explorers have a problem of sagging and i fixed that issue a couple years ago by putting some new air shocks in the back but now the one on the passenger side doesn't hold air anymore so it sags really hard to the right and makes it very hard to handle over bumps i'm doing those shocks that are gonna from, from what i understand it's gonna lift it like two inches but i don't know if that's just back to where it's supposed to be but it will make the ride a lot better. And then I have these uh, adjustable shackles, adjustable meaning there's two holes here, one for two inch, one for three inch. So what I plan to do is three inches in the rear, I'm gonna crank the torsion bars in the front and do a three inch body lift, which is in this box here. So with that being said, I'm gonna go around right now and spray everything with some PB blaster because I live in Northeast Pennsylvania and they use tons of salt on the road. So there's lots of rust, wish me luck. All right, so I got the one sit shackle off on the uh, driver's side here. So you can see the difference. They're quite longer. Um, these shackles are newer. Jeremy put them on for me a couple years ago. But uh, yeah, so all the bolts came out of the frame. So that's, uh, that's beautiful. <laughs> I was afraid that they weren't going to. On this side anyway, they did. So uh, I'm going to put this new shackle on and hope for the best. So I have... Uh, Pretty much everything disconnected. Both of the rear shackles are off. The shocks are disconnected and the links are disconnected. So in theory, I should be able to just jack this back end up and uh, put the shackles in because they're uh, currently slammed against the frame. So I don't know how I'm doing this. <laughs> they just keep arching more and more and more. <laughs> Fuck. Max right there. Oh, we got something going on here, boys. All I need to do right now is just get the top in. Um, I don't know if this is gonna happen. Oh, baby. All right, I appear to have put the shackle on the top. Now I can somehow figure out how to put it on the bottom. These things will save your ass. So with that being said, what I'm gonna do, ah, uh, that's, that's also a problem here. Uh oh. Uh oh. Hmm. I seem to be fucking myself, actually. <laughs> Shit. What did I do? Oh no. So, I, I, I currently have fucked myself. I don't know how I'm gonna pull this down. <laughs> Whoops. When in doubt, hammer it out. Hannah? Oh, it even fucked me more. God. Well, that's certainly annoying. Okay, here I go. I'm gonna try something daring. I'll pull myself, pull this down on my, myself here. Oh God, that was rusty. Oh boy. <laughs> Giant piece of body just fell on my face. Fuck. No. Well, I seem to have done something stupid. I don't know what I'm gonna do now. I might have unfucked myself, boys. If I can get something in there and pry this down enough. Yes. I have unfucked myself. All right. Currently I'm unfucked, so. Now, with this thing, the sticker in here. Boom, we'll pull that out. Oh, 
Okay. Now the shackle's in the correct position. And there we are. Shackle is in on this side. Okay, this thing's a lot more rusty than I thought it was. <laughs> Sweet. So the, uh, the rear is done, I just gotta tighten the bolts, but it definitely went up. There's the new shackles, and then the new shocks are on there. I found out my leaf springs are kind of shot. And then uh, up here, I cranked the torsion bar. I don't know if there's really much of a difference. It definitely went up at least an inch. Still have the body lifts to do. All right, so uh, I'm running out of time for the night. Plus, I need to get new bolts because they didn't include the correct ones in the kit. So, uh, but here's the body mount on this side, on the driver's side here. There is quite a bit of gappage there, so that's cool. Um, let me just, before I forget. <laughs> I got my tires too. Let's check these bad boys out. Look at them. Oh yeah. They are um, Achilles Desert Hawk XMTs. They're, I only went with 32 by 1150 because I'm a punk bitch. Tomorrow I'm gonna be picking up the other side because I have to go home now. I think I made some decent progress. I'm having a little bit of an issue with the um, body mount on the uh, passenger side, kind of right behind the wheel. It's just spinning. <laughs> but every other body mount I got out, so that's that's cool. I'm, I'm really happy about that. So that's the only one I'm having an issue with, but just to compare here. So here's this side, and bang on. Here's this side. So quite a big difference. <laughs> quite a big difference. All right, I'll see you tomorrow. Well, I come to the garage after the aftermath of John trying to do a body dash mild suspension lift and uh, realized not much got done last night because uh, I was tuned up, buddy, tuned up. Johnny, I was tuned up. I got yelled out when I left. Yeah. So it looks like we got a little bit done. We got one puck in the front, I see. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We got we got one puck in the uh, no no I don't no. So we got the shackles done. Well, not we, but John. He got the torsion keys turned, and we did some weight reduction. Check it out. Check out all that weight reduction. There's the nice body lift. As you can tell, the bumper will never match up again. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We got some stock Johnnies. See the stock Johnnies? The not stock Johnnies. Look at the non-stock Johnnies. I don't know. I think it's a complete success. This is a complete success. We are cutting two by fours with a chop saw for metal. Uh, we drank a lot of beer. We did burnouts on the road. You missed all that burnouts. Those are fun. Burnouts on the road. And uh, yeah, just, just a whole bunch of slippery fun here. Stay tuned for more. Okay, so it's day two. And like an idiot, I didn't film. And also like an idiot, I uh, never took the radiator out, which was step one in the instructions. Now I'm fucked. I have to try and get it down, but it's all done. All done now. It's like little odds and ends I have to do, like pick the bumper up and stuff, but it's way bigger. And uh, yeah, I just gotta get this down somehow. I don't know how, it's stuck at the moment. Well, it's done finally. Uh, did it hit the tire? <laughs> uh, yeah, so it's done. Um, what the fuck's it hitting, dude? Oh wait, I know what it's hitting. <laughs> hey, look who it is. Just a bunch of dudes now drinking Sprites. Look at it. Look at it. I have to change out the shocks now. I know. Oh, you're talking. I'm talking. I'm not talking to you. Oh, you said you said that twelve times already. Yeah, I got to change out the shocks now. Yeah. Sober Monday, boys. He was already drunk today. I got hammered at noon, and then I fell asleep because I was scared. So I drove home and went to bed for three hours and 45 minutes.
Nick told me. I thought it was four hours, but it was 15 minutes. Yeah. You're going to have a couple cuts of people talking about drinking. Because yesterday I was talking about <laughs> drinking and yours. And Jared and I were talking about drinking. Realized not much got done last night because uh, I was tuned up, buddy. Tuned up. Johnny, I was tuned up. I got yelled out when I left. And now I drink it Sprite. My, make this segment, my friends are alcoholics. Except here we are, not drinking. My friend Jer is an alcoholic. No, Nick is too. It's We inherited that. It's blood, it's in our blood. We were born with alcohol in the semen. Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I came out looking like a, um, a Coors Banquet can. Ding, right through. Well, let's, uh, let's put some shocks on. Well, it's done, I just need to lift the bumpers. There's a little bit of a gappage, but I don't feel like doing that because I feel like shit. So, I gotta do the back too. Well, like, she's up in the air. I think it turned out pretty good. I don't know if this really does it kind of justice here. It looks bigger in person. Jerem out in the tires. So, uh, yeah. It actually wasn't terrible to do, and I'm very surprised about it. Because I thought this... Who is this? Who is it here? I don't know. Might be Cody. It's Coday. This wasn't uh, too bad to do, surprisingly. I thought everything was gonna break, <laughs> but uh, it didn't. I'm not sure what kind of content I got for this, and I'm sorry if it wasn't anything. So Jones work. Hi. How are you now? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm gonna end it here, so catch you next time. Peace.